on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Everybody, man, come on in, come on in. OJ Simpson, uh, he's passed away. Long time legend um, of the USC football Trojans. Come on in. We just get a reaction. Um, I'm just going to react to it. Not going to do much, much. Uh, we'll talk about what he did at USC and his numbers. You guys know OJ Simpson was a Heisman Trophy winner. And so he does hold weight as far as the USC community goes, as far as USC goes. So we got to pay our respects um, as it relates to what he's done on the football field. You guys, come on in. Come on in. We'll talk about OJ Simpson real quick. Happy uh, Thursday to everybody. How is everybody in? I see you guys are coming on in. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. We get ready to talk about OJ Simpson. Um, you guys know it's breaking news. He passed away. And uh, look, man, you know, it was just a couple of months ago. Donnell, what's up, my man? Shout out to you. How you doing, man? It was just a couple of months ago. Uh, he was, uh, you know, uh, it was around Super Bowl Sunday. I think he had a 49 jersey, 49ers jersey on. And, uh, you know, he, it was kind of funny the way he did it. He said, hospice, hospice, you know, I guess because there were reports coming out that he had cancer or he was kind of, you know, sickly. And as a result, uh, you know, th there were people kind of speculating uh, on him, you know, being sick. But, you know, I guess he really was that sick. And I guess it was real speculation, you know, a reason for the speculations, man. So, man, you guys come on in. We're talking about O.J. Simpson. Um, it, it, it is a, uh, it, you know, it's, 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 it's a sad day, man. I mean, you guys know OJ Simpson holds a lot of weight, uh, with the USC community. He holds a lot of weight with the USC Trojans family. And so we'll, we'll kind of deal with that real quick, man. Come on in. You guys come on in and drop some of those comments, man. What are you guys' first reaction when you heard about this OJ Simpson stuff, man, um, that he passed away today. Um, and I just tell you guys my early memories of OJ Simpson early on. You know, my dad really introduced me to O.J. Simpson. Um, I wasn't old enough for O.J. Simpson, you know, coming up. But, you know, you know, part of that, the 32, I wore number 32 in uh, Marcus Island, him him both. Uh, those guys really, really uh, are some of the guys that I really used to look up to as far as uh, running back wise. And uh, the position itself, you, you know, you if you're a historian, especially a USC football historian, um, when you go to running backs, of course, one of the first ones you're going to go to, you're going to Charles White. You're going to O.J. Simpson. Um, O.J. Simpson had heavy, heavy, carry heavy, heavy weight as it relates to uh, being a running back. And we'll get ready to show some highlights. We'll talk about that. You guys, come on in. Drop those comments, man. I want to know what you guys think about O.J. Simpson, man, about his passing, man. Come on in and let's talk about it. Uh, you know, there, there is some controversy, but, uh, you know, throughout the years, but listen, I, I, I'm not here to deal with that. I posted something on Twitter, and there were multiple people that were just having some crazy, crazy, crazy comments. But hey, man, hey, let the, let the Lord deal with whatever he got to deal with. I'm not here to deal with that. I'm here to deal with football and uh, talk about that. One of the best numbers of all time. I hope he accepts he accepts the Lord. Hey, I hope he did too. Um, but you know, hey, it's in the Lord's hands. I, you know, I, I can't control that aspect of it. And um, but what I do, what I can do is really share the memory of what O.J. Simpson is uh, to me, uh, especially the fact that I play running back and what he is to me as a football player and how I used to really look up to him, especially him being a California native, um, him being somebody that played the same position. And then him that that really, really, you know, I mean, that he was an actor. I mean, he, he did all kinds of things. His personality was one that just really. It translated to all over the country, man. So everybody knew who O.J. Simpson was uh, for numerous things, man. So you guys come on in. Let's talk about it. Heard of the – heard end of controversy. Fight on, man. Fight on. Fight on. How's everybody doing? Uh, so, so look, man, O.J. Simpson, we'll talk about what he's done at USC. Um, he's put out some phenomenal numbers, and I'll just kind of go to this real quick because I want you guys to see his highlights, man, because – you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff was really lost in the sauce. And really, people don't really remember how good of a player O.J. Simpson was. Like I said, I was not even born when O.J. was getting down like this. But my God, when I was able to go back and reflect and really look at some of the things that O.J. was able to do. Of course, you guys know he won the Heisman Trophy. And you see him here. 
he's absolutely getting jiggy with it, man. I mean, OJ was a beast on the field. And, uh, you know, every running back, most running backs that came to USC, they patted themselves at the guys like OJ Simpson. Of course, you got the Charles Weiss. Of course, you got the Marcus Allen. You know, before Reggie Bush was even thought about, um, and Reggie Bush is the man, um, you had guys like OJ Simpson that was able to just really, really move and groove on a whole nother level, man. It's just, it's incredible. And you look at these highlights here, you look at the speed he had back then, and they don't have all the technology that they had now, but this guy had the absolute genetics. He had the absolute moving and grooving uh, it factor. And you can see how he's able to slice and dice all over the field, man. OJ was a monster. He was a beast. We'll just watch these highlights some more. Um, so you guys hit me in with those comments, man. And man, yo, what's up, man? How you doing, man? You know, I don't know how you feel about this. He was a great Trojan on the field. But was accused of yeah, absolutely. But I'm here, so I don't know if he should be celebrating. I'm not celebrating. We break we're breaking the news. We're breaking the news that he's actually passed away. But I'm not here to deal with that that other aspect. I'm here to do with it, deal with it as a football aspect and what he meant to me as a football player. I can't control the other stuff. Only only the Lord can control that. And that's something that that's really um out of my out of my hands and uh and one thing i'll say this i don't condone any type of um any type of behavior that might have took place but i'm not here to to deal with that that's not that's not what i want to deal with i want to deal with the aspect of oj as a player what he meant he passed away my reaction to it and that's pretty much it um as far as uh you know what that man has done that's something that everybody's gonna have to answer to god about anything that anybody does within their own life they will have to answer to that. I'm not here to make the judge, make the call. I'm not here to be God, but I'm just here to celebrate. Well, well, uh, you know, look at his career and him being a Trojan. It, you look, we can't erase those numbers, though. Those numbers are serious business. Those numbers are what they are. He's a Heisman Trophy winner. And he was actually someone that, as a youngster, I looked up to um, just the fact that he was a Trojan. But I'm not here to celebrate any other thing in his personal life. I'm set. We could separate that. Let's just separate that. And I'm not even going to talk about that. Uh, people forget how studly he was. No doubt. Um, he was, he was an absolute stud. Uh, not only did he have the moves, um, he was big. Yeah, absolutely. He was big as Eric Dickerson. Hey, no joke. Eric Dickerson who played for the Rams. Uh, I think he went to SMU. Eric Dickerson was a monster. And so, uh, with blazing speed. And so shout out to Emmanuel, man. Hey, as I stated, Hey, it's no no hard feelings, man. And uh, I'm just not here to talk about the other stuff. I'm just here to talk about the football player of O.J. Simpson. I'm just here to, to to look at that aspect of it and him being a beast of a Trojan. That's what I'm here to talk about. Uh, I'm gonna let God do what He got to do. That's that's out of my hands. That's not that's above my pay grade, my brother. Uh, <laughs> for real. Uh, morning, Jay. O.J. should have one too. Yeah, well, I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't around. I just kind of got, I kind of caught it after. You know what I mean? Um, you, you know, growing up, I, I learned about OJ as a youngster. I learned about Marcus Allen. Uh, well, I kind of watched, grew up watching Marcus Allen. Um, you know, he he was uh, he was actually a Raider by the time I got to start really looking at Marcus Allen. Um, I, I still was kind of too young. Um, that was like nineteen. Yeah, I was too young when Marcus Allen was moving and grooving. But Marcus Allen was one of my favorites. Um, growing up as well. Uh, but OJ, I give OJ his props, man, uh, for what he did on the field. Fight on the juice. Uh, he made rest in power. Um, RP juice. Uh, so look, RP OJ, if you don't uh get nothing, nothing nice to say, hey, you know, no, I don't, I don't think that comment, I don't think Emmanuel's comment was uh, was uh, what was a negative comment, but you know, there, you there's a lot of mixed feelings about what you know, where he's been at, OJ's been at. And but my thing is, is that I'm not here to talk about it. I'm here to talk about the football player of OJ. I'm here to celebrate the uh, the, uh, the 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 USC Trojan of OJ and just kind of remember it that way. We all know about whatever whatever took place, and uh, and it's not in my hands. That's that's in God's hands. So that's kind of the way I want to deal with that. Uh, on the aspect of college football, um, he was one of the best in college. He'll remember. Hey, absolutely, Emmanuel. I totally agree. Uh, for his greatness on the field, he was before my time. Yeah, he was before my time. You probably around my age, Emmanuel. Uh, but I remember my dad showing me his film. 
Hey, he was amazing. I mean, your dad did what my dad did, man. I mean, OJ was just one of them guys, man, that's just like, you're just like, man, wow. I mean, he really just, uh, you know, before Reggie was Reggie, before Marcus was Marcus, um, it, it was OJ. I mean, that's how we, that's how we all remember. Uh, social media is going to be in shambles today. <laughs> Rest in peace, OJ. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, that that's why I'm coming on to do my own little piece because I don't want to see all of the, I, I, you know, I, I've already turned to CNN. I've turned to Fox News. I turned to everything. And I said, you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it the way I want to do it. I, I mean, th they got the whole little court case thing, all that stuff going on. I'm going to talk about the football aspect. I'm not going to talk about that. And uh, as anybody else, and I'm going to say this with you guys, as anybody else in their lifetime, um, whatever we do, uh, we got to pay for it. You know, when we close, you know, it, close our eyes for the last time. And so that's not in my hands. God, that's in God's hands. I can't control what, what, what anybody else has done. I can't control what anybody else that's in my comment section, what they've done in their private life. But at the end of the day, I'm just willing to have a fair conversation and celebrate a man's life. Uh, celebrate what he's done on the football field. Um, Tyree, fight on, my man, fight on, fight on. Uh, I really wonder how USC publicly is going. I wanted the same thing. That's the conversation I want to have. I want to talk about OJ's career, but I want to talk about how USC, if they're going to even acknowledge it, because it, yeah, it's controversy. We can we can agree on that. It's a major controversy. I mean, um, surrounding that, and so you do kind of wonder, like, how is USC going going to respond? How are they going to um, acknowledge it? I mean, you just want to know if they're even going to acknowledge it. R.I.P. the Juice. Uh, he helped put USC on the map. Hey man, he he was he was one of the ones that stayed home, a SoCal native, and uh, hey, he absolutely did his thing. Heisman Trophy. You, I mean, just able to move and groove. We'll go over some of these these uh, these numbers real quick. But OJ, he was a beast, man. I mean, he was a straight up beast. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so OJ, when we move on to this real quick, OJ, man, uh, in his college career, you guys know he was uh, he was um, he started at 1965 to 1966. He was at uh, CC. Community College in San Francisco, and then he transitioned on to USC from 1967 to 1968. He was the number one pick overall, and he's part of the history that USC has as far as the number one picks ever. Um, I mean, OJ's a part of that, and he played for the Buffalo Bills from 1969 to 1977. OJ also played for the San Francisco 49ers from 1978. To 1979, uh, it, 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 1973, OJ he was the most valuable player, um, MVP. 1973 as well, he was the uh, NFL Officer Player of the Year. Let me get this real quick. Hey, Emmanuel, hey, I appreciate you, man. And I know you didn't mean anything by that, man. I just, hey, and I know it's a touchy situation, but you know, I just got to deal with it from this aspect. Thank you for the gift. I just got to deal with it from the football aspect. I can't even go that route because this 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 comment section would be all the way blown up. It'd be crazy, and I can't <laughs> I can't I can't roll with it that way. But I, hey, man, you know I appreciate you, man. And if you want Emmanuel, let me know. Hit me in the comment section. I go. Oh, I can't even do that right now. I was gonna say I'll drop you the link. I already got this set up. My bad. But uh, but hey, shout out to you, Emmanuel. Definitely, definitely uh, appreciate you, my man. Definitely appreciate you. Uh, I respect this chat, and I'm a fan of SC. Uh, he was a, a running back. Yeah, he was a, he was a heck of a running back. And as a pro, he was a successful actor. Uh, he had issues, of course, but I'll leave it there. That's that's the way I want to leave it. I, hey, I appreciate you for leaving it like that. And that's all we're doing. We're talking about OJ as a football player. We're talking about OJ as an actor and all the stuff. I mean, he was in all kinds of movies all kinds of commercials. I mean, when you're talking about certain people that shape, that help shape you, um, everybody lives in different generations, but one of the guys that helped shape me as I grew up, well, it, it, you know, it was OJ. I, I would constantly see him everywhere, whether it was movies, whether it was acting, you know, I mean, he, he was just one of those guys, one of those figures. And the fact that he did play at USC, that even made it more so for me, uh, uh, you know, a, a connection. And so, Thank you. I'll leave it at that. 
that's kind of the way I roll with it. Uh, RIP to the GOAT, OJ, uh, Bay Area. Yeah, he's for, yeah, Bay Area legend for sure. Um, Bay Area legend, RIP to Juice. What's up, bitch? What's up, my man? Based on my research, OJ had more than 2,000 plus yards in one season. During those 14 games, NFL season days, he played in cold. <laughs> and he played in some cold. He played in some cold stadiums, man. Buffalo uh, in those days. Yeah, it, it, it was cold. But OJ, he was able to move and groove throughout all of it. Uh, guys, you do not have nice things to say. No, no comment. Go to Oregon. Hey, for real. Hey, go to Oregon. Uh, people whack for talking about murder. Yeah. I'm not even gonna talk about that. There's some, there's some, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh uh say people will see a movie about Al Capone or John Gotti. <laughs> yeah, man, we can go on and on and on about that stuff. OJ was one of the most charismatic athletes of all time as well. Man, no doubt, man. Hey, listen, we got 163 people in here. Everybody make sure they hit that like button. Make sure they hit that share button, man. We just we just kind of have a reaction. We're doing it together. We're reacting to OJ together. I mean, he was a beast. He was a USC monster. Um, I mean, he did it, he did his thing. And when OJ was in Buffalo, it was a running back centric game. No doubt, man. I kind of sometimes, you know, I kind of sometimes wish it would get back to that. I, I like the air raid, I like all that. But man, they used to have some running backs, you know, you know, when coming up to uh, I mean the Marcus Allen's, the OJ. As uh, uh, John Cancilla alluded to, Eric Dickerson. I mean, you had some monster running backs that would just constantly run the ball. And they would just, you know, that's why OJ's a part of being, help shaping us be tailback you. They called tailback you. It was guys like OJ that was able to influence that, the tailback you aspect of it. Um, game in the NFL. Just ask Reggie McKenzie, no doubt. They knew it was OJ left, OJ right, man. OJ was everywhere. OJ was up the middle. He was everywhere. I mean, he was just smashing, man. Um, in the 60s, was a UCLA and Notre Dame fan. Um, when OJ came on the scene, he had been a USC fan. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, I love OJ. RIP. Dave, what's up, my man? What's the word? I got his autograph. Man, you need to mail me that. <laughs> mail me that autograph. Uh, on my hot eight Heisman signed that helmet. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Hey, fight on, fight on, fight on. And so, and so, yeah, man, we just wanted to come on real quick and kind of get you guys' reaction and, and talk about OJ. Uh, OJ was a great football player. God will be the judge now. That's all I'm saying. God will be the judge. USCJ can't be the judge. And, uh, you know, I, I just got to, hey, let God do what he got to do. I, I'm just here to talk about OJ's football career, man. And uh, and that's it. That's it. Let me get back to this. And so he got the most valuable offensive player of the year, 1973. Uh, Five-time first-team All-Pro, 1972 to 1976. Five-time Pro Bowl, 1972 to 1976. Uh, I mean, you're talking about some crazy numbers. These numbers are phenomenal numbers. AFL All-Star 1969. Um, he got the Brett Bell Award 1973. Uh, also, he got AP Athlete of the Year 1973. Three time. You, you, we're, we're talking about, and I'm trying to put this, uh, you know, because I know we got a younger group, and I'm trying to put this in the in in the right perspective so the younger the younger generation can understand. Like, this was a guy that had these type of numbers and put these type of numbers up. Uh, I mean, and you look at every category, OJ was that. OJ had it. Um, every category, um, OJ was up front. That's the, kind of, that's the kind of guy he was on the football field. He was the best of the best on the football field at his time. Like I said, he played for the Buffalo Bills. But let me continue to go through this. Three-time UPI AFC Officer Player of the Year, 1972. 1973 and 1975. He was four-time NFL rushing yards leader, 1972, 1973, 1975, and 1976. He was the two-time rushing touchdown leader, 1973, 1975. NFL scoring leader, 1975. It, this, this is really crazy. Uh, NFL 
Now, I didn't know all, I knew some of this, but I didn't know all of this. NFL 1970s all decade team, NFL 1975 anniversary all team, all time team, uh, NFL 100th anniversary all time team, Buffalo Bills, Wall of Fame, um, national champion. You guys already know that. Fight on national championship 1967. He got the Heisman Trophy 1968. He got the uh, Maxwell Award 1968. He got the Walter Kemp 19. 19- 67. He, he's a two-time UPI player of the year, 1967 and 1968. He was the SN player of the year, 1968 as well. Uh, he was the two-time unanimous All-American, 1967, 1968. Uh, also, he was the two, two-time first team All-Pro, All-Pack at Pack 8 at the time. It wasn't a Pack. You guys know it, it was the Pack 12. It was the then it was the Pac-10. And then before that, it was the Pac-8. But he was the two-time first team all Pac-8, 1967 and 1968. Um, USC Trojans, number 32, retired. Um, I mean, it's it's incredible. And then his rushing career, um, he had 11,000 yards rushing, 236 yards. 11,236 yards on his career. He had a 4.7 average rushing. Touchdowns, he had a total of 61. Receptions, he had a total of 203. Uh, Also, receiving yards, he had a total of 2,142. Uh, Receiving touchdowns, he had a total of 14. So we're talking about a man that was absolutely a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal college football player, man. And uh, we just wanted to talk about that, share some of OJ's information, share some of OJ's we got 181 people in here right now. Everybody, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. You guys already know where you can find me. It's USCJ32 on Instagram. It's USCJ32 on Twitter. If nobody else has any comments, man, I gave you guys my thoughts on OJ, uh, my reaction on OJ. You guys, I'll wait for a minute for you guys to give me your comments real quick and uh, before I get out of here, man. Anybody else have anything? They wanted to share on their thoughts about OJ, man. We're going to see this all day, man. So, listen, I had to come get mine in real quick just to kind of, uh, kind of uh, touch on OJ's history, man. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to say, man? If not, USCJ is about to sign up out of here, man. Listen, uh, the Trojans have a couple of guys that are getting ready. Let me just go ahead and make that announcement real quick. Well, no, I'm going to say that for say that for a video. But, uh, but yeah. The Trojans are getting ready to move and groove. They got a couple of things going on. Uh, Oscar, O.J. Simpson, R.I.P. Uh, Super O.C. Holmes, the juice was loose. Yeah, the juice was absolutely loose. We got 200 people in here. Everybody that comes on, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We just uh, kind of reflecting and having a reaction on O.J. Simpson and what he did for the USC football Trojans as far as establishing their history, the history of – being tailback you tailback you would not be tailback you without oj simpson and i think everybody knows that um he's a california guy san francisco bay area went to the junior college in san francisco area and you're talking about a guy that was absolutely able to move and grow man so look man i'm out of here let me hit some of these real quick fred oj was a beast was the best uh we will miss you uh my friend fight on Fight on. Hey, no doubt, man. So fight, big fight on to OJ. Uh, 2K in, four, in 14 games. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Those numbers are crazy. Um, Every commercial in the NFL had OJ running through. the air. Man, that was – hey, you remember those commercials? I mean, he used to have a little the little short little fro, man, from Hertz. Hey, I mean, OJ, I mean, that – that you know, I grew up watching that stuff, man. It was incredible. Um, And so those are – those are going to be the memories that, I, that you know, I look at. And uh, and those are some of the memories I think about now as far as OJ, man. And uh, and all the other stuff, we just kind of leave. OJ is a top 10 SC running back. Oh, man, yeah, OJ, he's a top five. <laughs> Oscar, OJ's a top five. You know, if I were to say right now, off the top of my head, who are the top five running backs, I'm going to say OJ. I'm just going to tell you off the top of my head. I'm going to say, OJ, I'm not going to put him in no order. This is in no order. You guys drop those comments. Who's the top five running backs in USC history? I'm going to say, OJ, Marcus Allen, 
Charles White, Reggie Bush, and I got one more, man. I don't want to I don't want to do anybody bad. I got OJ, Marcus Allen, Charles White, Reggie Bush, that's four. I'm trying to say my last one cuz I don't want to do anybody bad. Give me give me the top 5 running backs in USC history real quick before we get out of here. I I need one more but I I don't want to uh Sir J, on the side note, do bear do bear room in the <laughs> woods. Bear Alexander was confused about going on to real Texas. I knew he was come back. Bro, that's that's a whole nother story, bro. <laughs> that, 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 I, you know, I'm not at liberty to speak on it, but you know, hey man, I hope you can read between the lines. Um, you know, yeah. So uh let's see. You got Lindell in there, Joe McKnight. So, so hold on. You got OJ Allen. Allen, oh Marcus Allen. I thought about Buck Allen. Um, uh, Allen Bush White. One, two, three, four. That's what I got. But I'm no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I got. That's what I got. But I need you got to have five. Who's the top five in USC history? I love this guy. Hey, no joke. Hey, Keys. I love Joe McKnight. Joe McKnight is uh, man. Joe McKnight had one of the smoothest style. You know, he's he's right there. You know, I'm on a tip. If I can't think of nobody else. Um, to put over Joe McKnight. Joe McKnight might be my fifth running back. Um, I, I love Lindell White too. Uh, but 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 I like Joe McKnight. I like Joe McKnight. So, but so I got Reggie, I got OJ, I got Charles White, and then I got Marcus Allen. Those are not those those four right there to me. Those are not optional. I don't think to me. I think something is wrong if you don't have those four in your top four at least. But we got to have top five. And Joe McKnight is borderline top five. I'm just trying to figure out uh, who 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 else would I put? Uh, oh my God! Yeah, Lord, forgive me for that, Garrett. Wow, I think you're right. Dang. Um, man, how? Yeah, that that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard one. Let me see. Alec Bush White, OJ Lindell, maybe Jones. Jones, you talking about which Jones? You talking about Ronald Jones? Um, those are Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I need you guys to give me a top five, man. Uh, my man threw Mike Garrett on me real quick, but dang, that kind of got me off guard right there. Cause yeah, oh my God, Anthony Day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this thing is crazy. I don't know. Hey, if if, if you got to pick f- five running backs. Who's the top five? Here's a, here's what I'm gonna say to you. OJ's a non-negotiable, right? OJ's a non-negotiable. Marcus Allen's a non-negotiable. I don't care what nobody say. And Reggie Bush is a non-negotiable. Uh, I, I can say those three for sure. And um, and Charles White. That's kind of tough. But I really have three, in my opinion. That's me. Three, in my opinion, that are not negotiable at all. Marcus Allen, Reggie Bush. And OJ, those are not even negotiable to me at all. I can't even. Are you serious? Hey, I got love. I got love for Ronald, but wow, over over Anthony Davis, over over Charles White, over Mike Garrett. I mean, I like Rojo. I'm, I, I love Rojo. Came from Texas, you know. Um, would you put Rojo over over Joe McKnight? No way. No way. No way. No way. We got to talk about this. It's almost too hard. I need you to pick, bro. I need you to pick five. I need you to drop them in here right now, man. Don't do me like that, man. I need you. I need five running backs real quick. Let me know, man. You got to have your final answer. It's very hard. But that just lets you know how good of the good USC is historically, man, as far as their history, man. And as I stated, OJ was one of those guys to shape, to shape that history. That is very hard. I need somebody to give me a legit one. Uh, forget about AD. <laughs> Got him over Garrett now. Yeah, Marcus Allen block for Charles White. But listen, I, look, hold on for a second. I understand that. Um, for a full season, that alone puts him in the top. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. I thought you was about to say Marcus Allen block for uh for Charles White. So that means that no, it's no way. No, hey, I totally agree. 
Marcus Allen was an absolute beast. Uh, I mean, he really was. I need you guys to really give me a legitimate, legitimate Reggie, OJ, Joe. One, two, three, four, five. Reggie, Joe, Allen, White. Charles White or Lindell White? I I can, yeah, I can live with that, man. I You know, it's hard for me. The, Joe McKnight was so smooth. He was so smooth on the field, man. I love what Joe McKnight did. It's, it's kind of hard for me. I really like the way Joe McKnight, you know, he was back there uh, with Stephon Johnson. You guys remember that game? They went down there to Ohio State and um, and beat up on Ohio State. But I really do. I like Joe McKnight, man. But his style, his you know, he's from Louisiana. The way he moved, man, was was a little different, man. He had that he had that juke in him, man. I need somebody to give me a legitimate one, man. <laughs> hey, I'm about to just. I'm, <laughs> I'm <not laughs> Are you serious? I'm not even about to go there. I, 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 I shout out to Petro. I like Petros, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about the man who broke? Oh man, Sam Bell, man. You know what? He went to Alabama. And and look, Alabama, let me give you guys some history real quick. Alabama didn't even get black players at the time. There was the, the segregation was still in place. But but you know, Sam Bam Cunningham went down there, and, and as the story goes, uh, he ran all over the Alabama Crimson Tide. And man, I forgot about this is a, this is really this is crazy. Isn't he Randall Cunningham's brother? Uh, this thing is really crazy uh, to try to pick these. You kind of, you kind of got to put him in there just because of the historic, the hi history fact that uh, what he did going to Alabama, doing that, and after that, Bear Bryant said that, look, you know, I need me some black players as well. That's that's a that's a fact. Sam Bram Cunningham went down there and made that thing really happen and smashed him. Yeah, Logan tripping. Logan, <laughs> Logan, you have lost it, man. Logan, I'm putting you in timeout, man. For real. You in timeout, man. But Gary won the Heisman. Logan, you about to be in timeout for that. Sam Cunningham was a beast. He was a straight up beast. For real. Lindell, so you got so you got Lindell in the mix. I hey Lindell was a monster, man. I can't even imagine if Lindell would have had it all by himself. You know, he had they had a bunch of guys. Um, even when he got there his freshman year, you guys know it was Herschel Dennis, Lindell White, Reggie Bush. Um, uh, was it Chauncey Washington? No, 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 that, that was that was it. Um, yeah, they had they had so many guys, man. It, it, it was crazy. Anthony Davis should have won the Heisman his junior year. I don't remember that, but but I know about it. I heard about it. It's settled. OJ, White, Allen, Bush, and Anthony Davis. Okay, let's see. OJ, White, Allen, Bush. I can't argue with that. I can't. I told you the the, the non-negotiables are OJ, and this is this is the way I, I believe this. OJ, Marcus Allen, and Reggie Bush. Those three right there, those are not even arguable. Do we we don't even have to argue those? Matter of fact, everybody needs to start their list off with OJ, Bush, and Marcus Allen. No, we got to do it in order. OJ because he was first, Marcus Allen because he was second, and then Reggie Bush because he was third. Those three right there, you might as well just put them on the top of your list, the top five, and don't even take them off. So we really just got to figure out the two. We're doing a process of elimination right now because those right there, Reggie Bush is everything. You guys know Reggie Bush is everything in USC. A lot of young kids now remember USC because of Sam Bam. Great. Yeah. Hey, man, that was an excellent call. I can't even argue with that. Reggie, OJ, Marcus, Allen. Joe McKnight. Oh, hold on. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's a good one. That's a good one too. I, I can't argue with that. I can't even. I can't even argue with that. I can't. Uh, Bush, OJ, Allen, Joe, Lindell. I'm kind of like. I kind of like that one right there, man. I kind of like. Well, well, yeah. I like that one too. Herschel Walker would have been good if he wasn't for his injury. Hey, we're not even talking. Herschel Walker went to Georgia. But we're talking about USC. I love Herschel Walker. That man never lifted weights. I don't think he lifted weights a day in his life and did push-ups. 
calisthenics and, and looks like he looks like the way he looked. Uh, what kind of genetics he got? But uh, yeah, Herschel was a beast, man. But uh, we can argue that most of the USC running backs um, are better than Herschel. I'm just gonna keep it real. They are a lot of them, a lot of the great ones in the top five. I, I don't know if her, I, in my opinion, I don't know if the top five that I don't know if Herschel's messing with any of them. Talk back to me. Let me know what you think. OJ, okay, here we go. Josh came back and tapped in with me. OJ, Allen, Reggie, Charles White, and Ty with AD and Garrett. I can't argue with that, man. I can't. Hey, young Toddy, man, drop your drop your drop your top five running backs, USC all time, man. Step your history game up, man. Let me see where you at with it, man. Uh, I like who would Don Don list. Uh, maybe Allen is first. You picking Allen over OJ? I'm and I'm an Allen guy. I'm a big time. I I, I got an autograph from Allen. Um, I got it downstairs. I love Allen. My mistake. Oh no, man, you good, man. You good. Well, Herschel went to Georgia though. Um, AD is called Notre Dame Killer. That's a sweet nickname. Hey, no doubt. No doubt. I'm about to get out of here. Young Tiny, man. Before I get up out of here, I want to see a couple more people's top, top uh, five USC running backs of all time, man. On September 12, 1970, SC played Bama, and after the game, Bear Bryant told the players that Sam Cunningham is what a football player. <laughs> hey, I bet he did. Hey, after he seen, you know what? You know what Alabama players saw from Sam Bam Cunningham? All they seen was grass, grass getting kicked up in their face after he was going to the end zone. That's all they saw that all the whole game, man. For real. <laughs> Allen had the best pro career. Man, I love that. You know, he played for the Kansas City Chiefs, he played for the Raiders. I mean, you know, I mean, I love Allen. Marcus Allen, Charles White, OJ Simpson, Reggie Bush. I can't argue with that, man. That's a good one. That's a good one. Once a Trojan, you're a Trojan forever. Absolutely. And you notice the common thing here? Everybody has Marcus Allen. Everybody has Reggie Bush. And that's why I said those are non-negotiable. And everybody has OJ Simpson. Those, those three right there. You, you automatically have to put them in uh, the USC best top five, automatically. Uh, let's see. My dad was a big-time Allen and Lott guy, so that's why I always put those two as the greatest. Hey, I told, hey I'm told. Hey, i with it. I mean, Herschel Dennis. Oh, Herschel Dennis. I love Herschel. You guys know I had Herschel Dennis on my show, man. I got – and after I heard Herschel Dennis' story um, – yeah, oh, okay, that's why you, you meant Herschel Dennis, not Herschel Walker. Um, Herschel Dennis, let me tell you about Herschel Dennis. For those who don't know, we got a couple new subscribers. I, I did an interview. You guys go back in my live videos and go down and scroll to USCJ Live with Herschel Dennis. I had John Walker, who also played uh, at USC. We, we kind of double teamed it, and uh, we interviewed Herschel Dennis. And his life story, man, Herschel Dennis is a is – a, is a Southern California legend. And I'm going to tell you that straight up. With the Long Beach Poly, if, if you guys live in the Southern California area, all of us know who Herschel Dennis is. We heard about Herschel Dennis when he was in high school. He was a beast. He was kind of plagued by a couple of injuries. But go back and watch the live I did with him. Um, that that guy, man, his story, talked about his mom. He has, Herschel Dennis has a phenomenal story. He's one of my favorite Trojans of all time, man. Not just because I, I interviewed him on his channel, but because, you know, he's a great person. Uh, the story with his mom, he talked about how um, that he almost chose Oregon, but how his mom really kind of got involved and was like, no, don't do it. But you guys go watch that live video, man. I need to replay that video one day. But you guys go back and watch it. Can you see Student Body Right in the 1960s highlight uh, being shown? <laughs> hey, for real. Hey, man, yeah. Sam Bam Cunningham had to be in the top five of being – the guy who broke the color. Yeah, he did, man. He 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 has to be. He he was just, I mean, th th it is what it is. I remember all the players, um, the person's reference when Dennis played, Allen played, and Lott played. No doubt. Modern day 
uh versus uh poly matchup man during dennis days it was epic man i mean her that that's when long beach poly listen long beach poly listen before modern day was like that long you guys know man my uh, long beach poly was the business i mean they had some athletes to come out of there that was crazy and herschel dennis was kind of right there putting that thing on the map man um that team was crazy you could win a national championship with 22 players like Dennis, for real. And that's real talk. So, look, man, I just wanted to uh, I wanted to come on here and get my reaction. Allen won the Heisman and the Super Bowl MVP. I wonder how many have done that. Uh, you know what? I think him and Reggie Bush are the only two that's ever done that. I think in the history of college football, if I'm not mistaken, I put that stat up, and I think I put that on my Instagram, and I put that on my Twitter. Um, I think those are the only two that's ever done that. And that's a great point. Reggie Bush, and I don't care. Reggie still won the Heisman. They can try to say whatever they want. But Reggie Bush and Marcus Allen, two Trojans are the ones that only hold that record. If I'm wrong, you guys hit me in the comments. Let me know. Give me a double back on that. Let me know. Don't forget. Yeah, Darnell Bing. I mean, man, that list goes on and on and on. Everybody. I mean, he was a baller, man. And Darnell Bing played at USC as well. So, you know, safety, hard hitting safety. SCJ, you have to do a content about how Sam, Van, yeah, no doubt, man, broke the color color line, meaning USC has always been progressive. That's a great point about playing AAA players. No doubt, man, no doubt. It helped breaking the segregation. And that's, you know, a lot of people, you know, people need to know that history, man. Um, and, and people don't realize that is in USC's history. That's a major part of the history. No doubt. Hey, what's up, fam? What's up, my man? What's up, my man? If you guys know, that's that's my guy right there, man. He he, he played. You you guys remember the group Digital Underground, man? He played drums for them. Oh, uh, certainly. Uh, we are not here to celebrate a man who murdered the the mother. Of... Listen, we're not even talking about that. What is you talking about? We're talking about USC football. Will you please stop? You 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 go stop, please. Uh, USCJ pointing out how big the city and championship of LA uh, high school football 1960s and 1970s was a massive deal in the Southland. Um, what's up, fam? Facts. Yes, sir. And, and you, yeah, he's a USC alumni as well. So look, man, uh, I just wanted to tap in with you guys. We got 245 people in here. I'm about to get up out of here, man. And uh, OJ's part of USC history. He's a top three running back in USC history, as I stated. And I'm getting out of here. OJ, Marcus Allen, Reggie Bush, those are my top three. Look, I'm telling you guys to put up top five. I can't really even put a top five. That thing is hard. After number three, it gets it gets crazy hard. Yeah, you need to do a show on the top running backs. Hey, man, I think I I think I will. I, that's a great matter of fact. Let me take it. Yeah, that's a let me take a picture of what you said here. Hey, I, I'll forget it, man. I'll be, this is what I do all day, man. Get my content, believe it or not. I'm always having to take pictures, to take pictures, take screenshots, do this, just to keep myself noted. Like and subscribe. Uh, the spring game is going to be lit. Oh, man, let me tell you guys this, man. I thought, listen, yeah, the spring game is going to be lit. I was expecting. You guys know I got a son, man, 18 years old. He, just, he got a full-ride scholarship, and he's going to be playing college football. Uh, at a D2 school, I got we got to go to the coaches called us. We got to go to his spring game. I'm gonna announce this to other people so they so they'll know as well. We got to go to his spring. We'll be on the sideline, man. But uh, I, I'm so you know I'm glad I'm happy because it's my son. But at the same time, it's kind of a bittersweet thing. I'm not gonna be. It's the same day as and the same time as USC spring game. I don't even know. You know I can't even believe I'm not even gonna be able to watch the game. But I got to be on the sideline with my son. I got to be there to support him, and uh, and I got to make sure everything is everything as it relates to him. So I will not be at the spring game, man. I just I, the coach just called us last week, so I'm just really finding that out. So uh, so yeah, here's my other son, uh, R.P. O.J. He's a big LSU fan. His mom is from Louisiana. I just want you guys to know that. But uh, but uh, here's my other son. This is Jarvis, man. I love him. Uh, but his brother is playing college football and so that game he, he will be playing college football next year so we will actually be 
um, going to the spring game next Saturday, St. Thomas USC game. So I won't be able to come there, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so no doubt. We need this uh, one today. Thanks for the lie. Hey, no doubt, man. I'm about to get out of here, man. So look, man, You God bless everybody. Top five USC safeties. Hey, we, <laughs> hey, man, why are you doing this? Hey, this is, this, I'm telling you, this, that, wow. Top, Ronnie Lott. Okay, Ronnie Lott is going to be number one. I'm not even about to get into this. Ronnie Lott is going to be number one. You got to put, you got to put a guy like Troy Palomala in there. You got to put Taylor Mays in there. I got to put Darnell Bing in there. Those four right there are non-negotiable. Those are non-negotiable right there, Oscar. So you got Troy Palomala, you got Ronnie Lott, you got Darnell Bing, and you got Taylor Mays. Those are non-negotiable top safeties. Before I get out of here, I need everybody to give me those top four safeties of USC. No way, SC. We'll drag the kitty. Hey, thank you for the thank you for the uh, super chat. Hey, give me your top four safeties. Uh, Sir J. Splitting that Marvin Gaye line. Everything is everything. Hey, no doubt. Fight on, fam. Fight on. Congrat. Hey, I appreciate you, man. But look, man, I'm about to get up out of here, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody for tapping in today, man. We just kind of wanted to briefly brief reaction on OJ. I'm about to get out of here, man. Everybody stay blessed. Until later on, let me see. Ronnie, Troy, Taylor, Bing. Oh, yeah. I'm, hey, I like that list. That's my list. That's my list. You know, I already got. Now, Josh, you on top of things today. You know, I already got Ronnie. I got Troy. I got Taylor. And I got Bing. Um, Sue is going to be my last guy. I'm feeling that for sure. Lot, Polly. Oh, man. I forgot about Tano Hufanga. That kind of gets tough as well. I'm not even about to deal with that. I'm going to I'm gonna go with Josh list real quick. That's kind of tough. You threw a whole nother wrench in it. Hey, man, it was good to hear so many laughs and loss in the sauce for, hey, no doubt. Uh, JT, that's my, la that's my, hey, for, for sure. All right, fam, I'm out of here, man. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.